A warning from the sky. Six million leaflets dropped over Gaza City with a message printed in Arabic. Anyone reading this has four hours to leave. Israel has now marched its forces all the way to the sea, encircling Gaza and Hamas militants. It's announced it's left a corridor for civilians to evacuate. But for Palestinians trapped inside, nowhere is safe, nor is the journey to the south. Earlier in central Gaza, dozens were killed in a densely populated refugee camp. A photographer for a Turkish news service was out working when videos from his neighbourhood began flooding his phone. Four of his children's bodies would later be pulled from the rubble. I've lost all my children except one, he says. I've lost my only daughter. I don't know what else to say. Israel's military has indicated it'll soon push into Gaza City itself in force as it fights a war of words with Hamas over civilian casualties. They launch rockets on Israel 75 metres from an hospital. Why? Anger over American support of Israel is growing louder across the Arab world. Crowds in Tukye storming an airbase housing US troops hours before America's top diplomat arrives. Here. This picture was taken right here. On the border near Gaza, Australia's former Prime Minister Scott Morrison came to witness the carnage of October 7. This is one of the motorcycles. Joining the UK's former leader Boris Johnson in Kafar Azar. That infiltrated it. 57 people were murdered here by Hamas. 17 people were kidnapped. You can't help be overwhelmed by the sense of what we're standing on was once a month ago a place of innocence and now has been desecrated beyond comprehension. Israel is hosting the political figures and diplomats because it wants the world to remember the horrors of October 7 and to judge its military actions on its need to prevent the massacre from ever happening again. Flames of hope in Jerusalem, hundreds lighting candles for the more than 240 Israeli hostages who are being held somewhere under the explosions and fires that are trapping millions and killing thousands. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.